Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Last week, EA released an SBC that created one of the easiest coin making opportunities of the entire year. And today, we're looking for this opportunity to repeat itself. Yes, we're talking about the market in July, but we all need these cards anyways, so why not just buy a couple at the very least? We're going to discuss that today, guys, because it has to do with today's content. Also, what it has to do with today's SBC and content release is new SBCs coming and old SBCs refreshing that we will all be interested in. And of course, maybe another weekend league objective as the France weekend league is ending. What's EA going to replace that with? All that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, let's look back to yesterday's Tuesday content. There wasn't a whole lot, but we did get an upgrade player pick SBC that we were expecting. And hey, first thing I saw when I saw this SBC yesterday was the fact that EA increased the rating. That was kind of what we were hoping for. We talked about that in yesterday's video. It went from 93 plus to 94 plus. But what I didn't expect them to do is add in the greats of the game heroes and the footies team one players. Now, the interesting part about this is there's no icons available from it. They said greats of the game heroes only, no icons, and footies team one no icons so no ribery no jarzinho packable from this player pick which is a bit unfortunate and man yesterday we opened a bunch of these on stream the weight seemed kind of bad but then again there would be a couple of picks here or there that would be bangers like valverde popped up a couple of times um, a couple of the other copa america team of the tournament cards like uh, maybe a rafinha or somebody else like that level was packed yesterday as well some of the best pulls we had were team of the tournaments i think we had a kdb that popped as well a couple of make your mark cards like a Trent, I think, popped up for somebody. Um, maybe a footies cards here or there. It's worth the craft because it's cheap, honestly. And the state of the menus, of course, that goes without saying. 85 and 88 rated squads for this SBC. But I don't know. Like, it didn't seem like it was amazing. It just seemed like it was one that we do because we have the fodder to craft it right now. And it's a chance at something cool. It's cheap. It's craftable. I think it's still a must do. If you want to check out some of the pulls, they are on the second channel. Link that, of course, right above. So there's really not a whole lot to say here except. I wish the icons were included and man, I wish they wouldn't have put so many players in it. I do feel like somehow putting all those players in it, maybe even somehow like messed up the weight on it or something like that. So it was there. I know some people got really good pulls, so I'm not trying to complain about this. My poll was bad. Um, I just really think so your opinion on this SBC probably depends on what you pulled from it. Now, I want to look at fodder and how that SBC made fodder move. But first, I want to look at the other player SBC that we had yesterday, and it was Fakir. Guys, what did we talk about yesterday? We wanted a massive player SBC with grindability potential and game quality. And this guy, he had the potential. This Fakir, a FIFA legend Fakir, right? Who remembers his road to the knockouts card or road to the final, whatever it was a couple of years ago that everybody did. It was in the early game, right? That card was everywhere. This guy's kind of a FIFA legend. Also a little bit of a FIFA rat, if you want to go back that way as well, because he's been so meta in the past. This guy could have been 97, 98 rated. He could have been 1.5 million coins and like 15 different squads to do if they would have given him some better playstyle pluses and just absolutely juiced his stats, right? It could have been that level of player, made him five star, five star as well. But unfortunately, he is following the trend of Sorloth, of Ruben Loftus Cheek. He's another 100,000 coin cheap, two squads to complete SBC for just a good, fun card, and that's kind of it. Honestly, this is a chance to use Fakir if you didn't get his team of the season card from the La Liga Tots objective, which I know this one was tough to get, and this kind of Tots Fakir has a certain level of uh, rarity to him because he was only available from that objective. But for me, I'm not doing this Fakir because I did the 94 Fakir objective and I was able to evolve him. He's now a 96, which is very comparable to this card. This card does have the extra play style plus, which of course is nice and a little bit better stats than mine does even. But for the one that I have, it's not big enough of a stat difference for me to actually want to go and change anything. 85 and an 86 rated squad for this. So it's very cheap, but it's just kind of a bummer because again, I think a lot of us... I I tweeted out yesterday as well. We were looking for something massive. A lot of you guys in the YouTube comments yesterday seem to agree. We want one of those SBCs that is like worth grinding for. Keywords worth it, right? But this guy could have been it, but he was not the one. So because of the SBCs that were released yesterday, though, especially that 94 plus player pick, guess what moved? Our favorite investment, the 84s. Yesterday, they did very, very well after content going from below 2,000 coins all the way above. 
3K, most of them even selling for three and a half thousand coins. Let me take a look at a couple of them here right now. They're back down to 2.5K, yeah, from 2.6 to 3.6. Most of the 84s yesterday were above 3,000 coins, which is crazy because guess what? That's almost how much the 85s are. 85s now are just approaching 4,000 coins. They did bump up yesterday in price around content as well. That is the trend. That is the trend, guys. It's probably going to happen even again today with the 84 times 10 refreshing, other SBCs refreshing as well. Watch the 84s, but I think you might have a good opportunity to bid on those this morning with foot champs rewards being given out. So if you're going to bid on these 84s, you might not be able to get them lower than like 2.2 to 2.3K. And I think you're hoping that it would go over 3,000 coins today, maybe like 3.3. Ideally, 2.3 to 3.3 would kind of be your investment here for the 84s because you probably wouldn't want to get them out uh, but there are some SBCs that are refreshing today that will require them. So that's kind of that. Other uh, parts of the fodder market, however, are dropping. There is an 88 rated squad inside of the player pick yesterday, but since everybody's packing high rated fodder, take a look at what is happening. 90 rated now are under 14K. 89s are also 14,000 coins. 88s are 9,000 coins flat. Most of the fodder, except for 83s and 84s, uh, can't not mention 83s as well. Those are moving every day too. If you get those on bid at 900, you can sell them for 1.5 to 1.6K. That's the part of the fodder market that is moving. It is the middle to high tier, like 86s and above that are not moving as much and they're actually dropping because that's all the stuff that we are packing from the re-released SBCs with the player pick grind, with the 84 times 10. It's so easy to get that type of fodder. You don't have to buy it as much. You have plenty of it in your clubs. We're going to talk about fodder soon though here, just another second. But first, a couple of other things that did happen yesterday, you may have seen or maybe even packed a couple of new transferred cards. And if you take a look at Footman, you probably saw this card yesterday as well. Kylian Mbappe's gold version, La Liga, Real Madrid links. Yes, EA added in some of the new transferred cards into packs. Mbappe being, of course, the biggest name there. He's actually not in packs right now because, of course, He's got the um, team of the year version that has been re-released in batch one. This card, unless he has a version in packs this Friday, will be in packs. Kind of shameless that he's got a 6 million coin price range when his other gold card has a 320,000 coin price range. This gold Mbappe is going to be ridiculously expensive though because people are going to want a Madrid Mbappe. I would not be surprised if he's over at least... 750,000 coins even into next week. He's going to be super rare and it's going to be the Madrid Lynx guys that everybody wants. I mean, we're going to talk about this heading into FC25, but the Madrid Lynx are going to be so sought after and so overpriced next year because everybody is going to want Madrid, 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 especially with all these guys in the team and Mbappe. So that's one of the cards. If you want to see them all, go to the footbin list here and click on new players and you can see all that were added. Some players coming back from loan on as well, like Ronaldo Sanchez back to PSG, Jan Cotto, Manchester City, Javi Simons, PSG, Olise to Bayern, Douglas Luiz to um, Juventus. Of course, we already had a card of his in the game that was Juve, Ito to Bayern as well. But you can look in here to see of all the cards that were transferred. Some of them, like I packed Pajor. Uh, Pajor to the women's Barca team. I packed her yesterday in her brand new card. And boom, right there she is, right? With the Barca links instead of the Wolfsburg. So even now, it's more of a troll for Lewandowski than she was before, which is kind of funny. So that's one thing I wanted to point out yesterday. And also, I can't not, double negative, not talk about the foot champs glitch that was going on yesterday as well guys i was playing foot champs on stream yesterday i was 10 and 5 after starting woeful talked about it yesterday right we were four and five it was terrible four and five went to 10 and five played my last game for 11 wins went to penalties got to the end of the game and it didn't give me any points that was the glitch that was happening yesterday people were either not getting points or if they got a win they were getting one point for a draw instead of four points in the champs kind of point system for a win. And EA addressed this with a tweet, but they didn't really address the full issue. They said, we've identified an issue causing some PC players to receive an incorrect amount of champions points after a match, resulting them in receiving incorrect rewards. Impacted players will be contacted in game in the coming days. Now, this was not only on PC because I experienced it firsthand myself on stream. The clip is there. Yesterday, it happened. And I know a lot of you guys, some people were even tweeting me pictures where they were 
were like seven and two in the weekend league or something like that. And they had like five points or like something super crazy low, not that low, but like 10 points. You should have like 20 something points. If you've won seven games, you should have 30 points, right? So that's crazy that that was happening. Um, and I don't know what EA is going to do about it. If you're not on PC, hopefully they realized that it was happening on PlayStation and I believe Xbox as well. At least for sure, I know it was happening on PlayStation because it happened to me. Um, so I had to play another game to get my 11th win. And then the rewards were absolutely shocking as well. So I don't know if I'm going to get compensation because it's not like the one extra win that I didn't get accounted for changed my rank because it didn't. But uh, that, that was a whole debacle yesterday. And I'm sure... Some of you guys even were not even able to finish your foot champs rank in the right spot. Or maybe you were playing and didn't even notice that your points were going up based off of your wins. That's a whole sort of a situation in the coming days as well. This is this is kind of a big mistake. I don't know how many people were impacted, but it might take a while for them to figure that one out. But I did want to mention it because that was kind of a serious thing that happened yesterday. And it was impacting seemingly a lot of people. Now... I mentioned a market in the intro of the video today, guys, and making coins and investment to make today. Yeah, we're talking about that again, because yesterday on this very last week, I mean, on this very day was when I invested 1.5 million coins into team of the season cards under 30,000 coins. Most of them bought for around 27 to 28 K and I sold them later on this week, a couple days ago for 50 K plus for most of these cards. Guys, I made almost a million coins on my investment, almost doubled my coins. It was a phenomenal, phenomenal investment. And the day is come again that we can potentially make this investment again. And you're like, Nate, why do I need TOTS cards? Well, like every SBC that's coming out right now requires team of the season cards. They're still up in price because of the SBCs that we had yesterday, but the SBC that made them drop last week is coming back out today. And that is what I want to talk about. Remember last Wednesday, we had the 90 plus tradable team of the season upgrade pack. And as it sits right now, this SBC is 44,000 coins, which of course we know all SBCs are basically free at the moment with the 82 plus player pick grind and the craft with the exchanges and all the fodder that is out. So first thing I want to tell you is go and do the 90 plus tots upgrade SBC today, get a tradable team of the season card and sell it for free coins. That is the first thing that you can do today to make a few coins. If you don't want to invest at all, go ahead and do that because this SBC is going to refresh today. It is only one squad. It's an 86 rated overall team, which again, you pack a 90 rated card from the re-release. You put in some 84s from an 84 times 10 left over. Boom, 86 rated squad, and you are getting a free 40,000 coins. Now, this SBC made TOTS prices drop last week. It's going to do the same thing today because a lot of people are going to do it because they want the coins, and I completely understand why. But that's going to mean that there's going to be supply for TOTS cards, and they're going to be investable again. Just to show you, if you want to see a footbin graph of how this worked out last week, Golovin, who I bought a few of, was 50, almost 60,000 coins, 57K, 58K. This SBC came out supply 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 also some panic selling from people who had invested in team of the weeks he went from 60k all the way to 30,000 coins this is where i was buying them early thursday morning late wednesday night depending on your time zone basically around the time of division rivals rewards a little bit before that was the low point but you had multiple opportunities to get in you could have bought all day on thursday or friday of last week and these cards exploded into the weekend. We had SBCs requiring team of the seasons. We had the good icon pick or the icon pack. We had other upgrade SBCs and Todd's cards flew. And this is when I sold, I sold them on Sunday. Um, and I think I sold them on Monday or even Tuesday as well. I sold some of them in the last couple days, all for around 50,000 coins plus. That's an incredible investment. Now, last week, there was the shock of this SBC being the first time that it was re-released, re bringing tradable supply, not re-released, but first time on the game. Today, it's getting re-released. I don't think the impact is going to be as massive, right? We just looked at Todd's cards. They're all still like 47,000 coins. Are they going to go back down to under 30K where I bought them last week at this exact same time? In my opinion, no, I don't think they're going to go all the way back down to 30,000 coins. If they do, your boy's going to be buying them all. Once again, we're going to be investing like crazy. I don't think they're going to go that low. And I think there's a little bit more risk this week as well with investing in these discard or not discard, but cheapest team of the season cards for SBCs because we're going to have a brand new batch two of cards re-released. We have TOTS cards that are in packs right now, but there's so few of them and they're so high rated that it's not really bringing supply to the market because how often have you guys packed a TOTS card from the re-release of footies team number one, right? 
it's not very often. Like if I pack one, it's maybe the Dewsbury Hall, like, and he's one of the most supplied cards here. So I don't expect there to be a ton of Tots cards in the re-release team too. I do expect there to be a few more, but I still think that team of the season cards are so in demand. They're required in almost every single SBC. I think they will still be a good investment. So I'm looking for a hopeful buy price of 30 to 32, 33,000 coins for TOTS cards, especially the higher rated ones. The higher rated, the safer the investment for sure. Now, I think they will hit that price if we get good content today with the 90 plus SBC looking like one that people actually want to craft and you'll see those prices drop and that will be the good time to make the investment. Again, looking at this graph from last week, the best time to buy will be between the late night hours, Wednesday night into the early time and uh, even around the content time on um, Thursday, today, on tomorrow. Like watch those prices, watch those prices really, really closely because there could be opportunities to buy there as well, even right after Rivals Rewards or even a couple of hours after. I think that's the investment time for these cards. And I think if they drop low enough, we get in. If they only drop to like 38K and they only drop down 10,000 coins, then what are they gonna go up to? 48K again and make 10K? after or before tax sure that could be an investment you make but they have to drop low enough for me to make me want to invest in them and for me that is the low to mid thirty thousand coin range but there is supply coming today there's going to be an influx of them on the market same thing with team of the weeks the team of the week sbc actually expires today the uh 81 plus team of the week tradable so i'm really curious to see how that works for team of the week cards today too they should be dropping as well could be a double opportunity here to invest in some of these cards or a team of the seasons Team of the Weeks, I think, actually went a little higher than Tots cards did because they were not supplied at all. That's an investment to watch today as well. So that is something to keep an eye on. Coin opportunity to be making there. Now let's talk about other Wednesday content today that could be shaking things up. Uh, guaranteed pack day, right? Wednesdays have been the other day that we get a guaranteed pack. Of course, the pack that is expiring that I hope is going to get replaced today is the Team of the Tournament upgrade that we had last week with Team of the Tournament cards in packs. Are they going to do a footies guarantee today? I wouldn't expect it. That would be too good, right? With the footies cards that are in packs, of course, there's plenty of fodder, but there's so few footies. I don't think they would do it, guys. That's just my personal opinion. I hope they do it. That'd be sick if they did. A chance at Neymar, a chance at Puteus, maybe Smith, Ribery, Jarzinho, if they include the icons and heroes as well. That could be cool. Could be great. But I think that's probably too good to be true. I do think we get some other sort of upgrade SBC today, though. And it could mean fodder moves up a little bit at content. Again, sell your fodder at content today for sure, especially with Rivals Rewards coming in and more packs coming in this weekend. I would sell it then for sure. But I think we're going to get some sort of upgrade pack today as well. And of course, the refreshes of the other SBCs. The 92 plus icon pack refreshing today twice. What does that mean? There's going to be demand, even for like Team of the Seasons today. Team of the Seasons might not drop right away after content. It might be a few hours after because of the demand for these types of SBCs. That's another thing when you're looking to make an investment on TOTS or Team of the Week. You want to wait until early morning Thursday or late late night Friday, sorry, late night Wednesday or early morning Thursday before you invest because that's when there will be less people doing the SBCs and less demand for people to be putting those cards in and submitting them. So I think with that SBC today, fodder goes up after content and then comes back down. Great time to sell your fodder after content as always there. And we're probably going to get a player SBC. There's been one every single day. Maybe they'll do another icon or a hero. We shall see. That'll be leaked ahead of content time as it always is. Now it's also Wednesday, which means weekend league objective day. We have the El Shirawi that is going away at content drop today because we'll be getting a brand new objective or Will we? Since we're in a new season now, I guess we were last week as well, are EA going to continue with the nation requirements? I hope they mix it up and give us something that's not just a nation requirement. I don't know what they would do, like a couple players from a certain club or just something to mix it up here for sure, but also is more inclusive. If they're going to require us to use players, like maybe it's not a full squad, maybe it's a starting 11 and then certain stipulations so that you can't just put on your main players and sub them on. 
so that it's still super duper meta, so that's a bit of a challenge still. But I'd watch out today for sure. I'd watch out for what this objective is going to be, if there is going to be one for a weekend league objective. We already about talked about the icon pack refresh. That's probably going to be content today, guys. Player SBC, icon pack refresh, 84 times 10 refreshing. Of course, the grind with the player picks and the menu craft still going strong. And then um, champs rewards as well, if you have not finished those. And one last day to play your rivals games to get your rivals rewards. Now, speaking of tomorrow on Thursday and rivals rewards, there is more FC 25 news that's going to be coming out. A deep dive look into gameplay. The video, I wouldn't expect much, right? Just like we saw with the first video that they dropped, there's not a whole lot of information that is in there, guys. The info that's really, really good is in the deep dive pitch notes. And I think we're going to be getting those as well at the same time that this trailer drops. So it's going to be the pitch notes that we will be one of the most interested in with all the news and info that will be in there. Hopefully about maybe Rush. I think they're saving Rush for a little bit later still, but hopefully some more about the gameplay changes, FCIQ, and really ways to understand those new features that are coming to FC25. That's what I'm hoping they talk about and release. And then also, these are, this is more of a leak. This is less confirmed. But Hazard and Bale are being tested as a hero and an icon. A lot of controversy yesterday when we saw this tweet. Is Bale deserving of an icon card? That is up for debate for sure. Uh, Wales' all-time leading scorer for international play, I do believe. Hazard, of course, I think do a hero deserving. Is Bale on that hero icon level, though? It's really interesting that a lot of people think Bale should maybe be a hero. Some think he deserves to be an icon. It really comes down to your opinion at the end of the day. And it's maybe even more for EA, a little bit of a popularity contest too. Both of those would be sick additions to the game though, regardless of how you see it. So we will see if they actually get added to the game or if it's just a test. So, oh, last thing I wanted to mention really, really quick. I just mentioned if you're crazy far ahead on XP, which I don't think we're getting any XP today, but if you're crazy far ahead and you're working on Al Awayrin, this first objective right here, it says assist 10. You actually have to score 10. That is what is counting right now. It must be coded incorrectly. It is not assist 10 that counts. It is scoring 10 that counts for that XP and your progress towards the Al Awayrin card. So that's the video for today, guys. I got to go take care of some dupes, get some exchanges, crafted up and some more 82 plus player picks ready to get my club ready for the fodder that I will need today for the new SBCs and the refreshing SBCs coming out. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. That link is down below in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, drop it up on a comment down below if you have any questions, of course, and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you on the second channel for more packs and more player picks. It's been Nathan for the count. Have a great Wednesday, guys. Peace.